What the NBN Co has, has sought to do is to basically exclude private fibre deployment companies like Opticom from this market. They've tried to, uh, you know, uh, is effectively insist that they should be the only provider and the consequence has been that only a handful of, of greenfield sites have actually been connected to the NBN uh, to broadband to fibre to the premises by the NBN Co. And at the same time, Opticom is and other private sector companies are forging ahead. Now what's interesting is that as everyone knows, we are totally committed to a national broadband network. Our criticism is of the way the government's gone about it. We say it's too much of a government monopoly, it's costing far too much, and it's taking too long. Telling someone you're going to get broadband in 10 years' time is pretty pathetic, really, if you're, you know, you, the, the, the schoolboy or the schoolgirl that can't get access to the materials they need online will have left home and, you know, maybe off living somewhere else by the time the broadband arrives. So you need action. And what Opticom's demonstrating here is that it can deliver quickly and cost effectively. Now, and, I, and I think the, you know, the logic there is that you get a lot of spin from, uh, from uh, politicians, uh, not, <laughs> Russell and, not Russell and me of course, uh, but present company accepted, but you get a lot of spin from uh, the Labor politicians on this and they try to suggest that if you have a, um, you know, a big government monopoly uh, it's going to result in lower prices. Well, I mean, the truth is that the reason we've got all of these things like the ACCC and competition laws is because we know that monopolies result in higher prices. And it's really competition that drives uh, lower prices. And the, the, there is the feedback I've had from, from Paul and from others in the, in the industry is that the way the NBN is going about building its fibre to the premises network, particularly in these greenfield sites, because it has done very little so far, it is imposing specifications which are unnecessarily expensive and are adding massively to costs. So do you consider this area to be a high priority area for broadband connections or is, or is this presently well connected enough under coalition's considerations? No, no I, look, I think everywhere, I think the, the objective has got to be to ensure that all Australians have access to very fast broadband. The, the, the point I was going to make about, route, about country towns, if use a generic term, is that under the NBN Co's plan, only towns or communities with a thousand premises or more will get fibre to the premises. And everywhere else will get wireless, fixed wireless or satellite. Now the difference between fibre to the premises and fixed wireless is gigantic. You know, you're talking about very high speeds, you know, it's of 100 megs down to 12 megs. Now, that's just not satisfactory. But what it's really about is, get, is being businesslike and using the technology that is most cost effective in the particular location and delivers you the solution that you need quickly and as cheaply as possible, because that's in everybody's interest. So that's, so that's why we want to encourage competition. Yeah. Right, um, just on the issue of competition, you raised it as, um, as, impo as, as important to the coalition's policy. In, in this area, um, how, how effective do you believe competition will actually be? Where, I mean, many, 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 it's a regional area and those people are going to be investing in the area. Yeah. Um, how, how do you expect that the coalition's policy will be able to drive investment in, in this area? Well, that's really a question for, um, you know, for private for the private sector. None there. of this is your policy. Yeah, yeah. But well, what I'm saying is we will, we will certainly eliminate any barriers to competition. That's not, that's not to say we, we can't make uh, people install competitive fixed line networks if they don't want to. But at the moment there's a lot of the government's created a lot of barriers to it. I think they've really done the wrong thing by, uh, you know, paying Telstra and Optus a lot of money not to use their HFC network for broadband data Voice. That's a thoroughly bad development. Um, but, you know, there will be, I mean, one of the areas where there will be increasing competition is on from wireless. Hmm. Uh, now, I recognise. Nonetheless, you, you, you and Lateline recently did say that wireless is a second, kind of a second option. It's not able to do everything that you well, want the well, NBN to be able to wireless, do. Wireless is not going to be a cost effective means of, uh, you know, this is 4G I'm talking about, cost effective means of, you know, watching, you know, masses of HD television. Or being, able, or being able to do what you just did with the video conference. Well, yeah, well, no, no, I don't, I'm not 
sure what we were on. But in, in your words on late line, though, video yeah. conferencing it is isn't, it isn't, it isn't possible. It isn't. Well, it, that's not quite true. It depends on the bandwidth you've got. Uh, I mean, I'm, in some parts of Australia, you've got very, very good bandwidth uh, on 4G. I mean, my 4G Wi-Fi card or you know device, I can get um, in some parts of Sydney 25 meg symmetrical. Mm. Now, but you're not everywhere. So, yeah. so the, the fixed line networks. All other would, things. Would that wireless be able to bring that kind of connectivity to this area? Well, um, well, in, in short term. In short term. No, no, no. If, it, if, if, if you've got the infrastructure deployed, wireless can do, can deliver anything anywhere. But the the question is all about the cost and the amount of data. You see, the the big difference is wireless is a shared shared medium, and so the, the wireless providers are going to be want to be get want to be getting that um, data into the ground as soon as possible. The important thing is the wireless fixed line thing is not a, again it's not a religious issue. It's not. It's like fibre to the premises, fibre to the cabin. Again, it's not religion. Is what is most cost effective in each location. Mm. And, and, and just finally, is this area a high priority area, or is it a any area that is poorly served is a high priority area? Do you area. It a poorly conserved well, area? Well, parts of this area are poorly served. Yeah, this obviously Jackson's view is not. It's going to be very well served. For going to fibre to the premises is uh, is pretty compelling. Can can you guys hear us there? Is it? Oh, okay. All right. That's that's sorry. About that. On the HFC network. I don't think they're getting any of that. They're not getting it. I can take a tiny step forward and see yeah. if that makes any difference. I don't think. I think it's the. I'm not sure. What, how are you going there, guys? No, I think we've we've lost the link. I think. Rural and regional Australia. No, again. We've lost you. Yeah. Are we back on? Can you hear us now?